and welcome to Inside Picture House, which this month comes from one of the UK's oldest and most loved cinemas, the Ritzy in Brixton. On this month's show, coming of age in a bohemian Dublin, Luton meets Springsteen, Tarantino's Hollywood homage, Desire, Passion, Family, Almodovar, plus screen arts, news and our in focus this month is documentary In a Diard, the reggae resurgence has begun. Girls are tied to beds for two reasons. Sex and exorcisms. So which was it with you? <laughs> Animals is a beautifully nuanced indie comedy drama that explores with compassion and precision the paths that certain friendships must take to release their willing hostages so they may grow or die. The golden years. <sighs> Holiday Granger and Alia Shawkat star as besties Laura and Tyler in a drunken, drug-addled Dublin. What's an animal's primary need? Food. Sex. Safety. Was any of it real? <laughs> All of it. The Cold War rages on. Reagan and Thatcher are still number one. But I'm stuck in Luton. No fun, freedom or future. Blinded by the Light is directed by Gurinder Chadha, Bend It Like Beckham, and is based on the memoirs of documentarist and journalist Safraz Mansur. Greetings from Berry Park, race, religion and rock and roll. I didn't know music could be like that. It's like Bruce knows everything I've ever felt, everything I've ever wanted. That's what you call real music. Javed, played by Vivek Kalra, is a young British teenager of Pakistani descent living in 1980s Luton, when his horizons are dramatically expanded by his life-changing introduction to the music of The Boss. You still coming to my party tonight? Emma's mates are coming, and I know one who would be perfect for you. Really? She's not fussy. All the shooting. <laughs> I love that stuff, you know, the killing. A lot of killing. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is written and directed by Quentin Tarantino and is a love letter from the director to the Hollywood of his childhood in the latter part of the 1960s where peace and love are being hijacked by drugs and sleaze. Line. The film blurs real-life events of the time with fictional characters based on real-life characters. A bold, brash, brutal, brilliant, multiple storyline fairy tale told only as Tarantino would dare. Hey, you're Rick Dalton. Don't you forget it. Almodovar staple lead Antonio Banderas won Best Actor at Cannes this year for his portrayal of an ageing and creatively blocked director in Pain and Glory. Exploring his past through either memories or actual encounters with old friends, enemies and lovers, culminating in spine surgery. A lifetime of love, desire and despair is excavated and beheld in the search for meaning and reconnection. Penelope Cruz also stars. Picture House is holding special previews on August the 11th, now booking. And now Screen Arts. August the 4th sees the last live broadcast from this season's Blindborn Festival, Mozart's Magic Flute. Composed just months before his death, Die Zauberflot is a heady blend of knockabout comedy and fantasy, its beautiful melodies woven into an allegory of wicked queens, noble princes, ancient Egyptian mythology and the lore of the Freemasons. An encore of the Lehman trilogy from The National. The story of a family and a company that changed the world. Sam Mendes directs Simon Russell Beale, Adam Godley and Ben Miles, who play the Lehman Brothers, their sons and grandsons. And just to flag up that the next National Theatre Live on September the 10th is now booking, an evening with Margaret Atwood, marking the Canadian novelist, poet, literary critic and inventor's release of The Testaments, her highly anticipated sequel to The Handmaid's Tale. 
and now August's news. Picture House is very excited to announce that the latest addition to the family is in Fulham Road, London. Originally opened in 1930 as a forum cinema, it has been an ABC, a Canon, an MGN, a Virgin, a UGC and a Cineworld. Currently enjoying the full Picture House restoration and refurbishment, there are no plans for it to change hands again. Grand opening scheduled for November this year. Continuing the joint 30th birthday collaboration between Picture House and Empire magazine, Vintage Sundays present the Masters of Cinema season. Beginning with Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas, Ang Lee's Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, an incredibly rare opportunity to see Spielberg's Raiders of the Lost Ark on the big screen, and Paul Thomas Anderson's Magnolia. This month we focus on Picture House entertainment release in a de Yard, a documentary celebrating the generation-spanning Jamaican music collective of the same name. We have reggae music. It's one of the rare films that I've made which has a sense of joy about it. Um, I think it's very uplifting. I think it's feel-good. Not many can ride visions, see visions, and transfer it to others. It's the language of our people. It's sad and it's happy at the same time. Mystical in a sense. Although it is a film about music, it's about more than music. It's about triumph over adversity. It's about the joy of ageing, if, if, if you like, you know, the fact that you don't have to be a bright young whippersnapper to kind of find some, some, some joy in life. We walk together, we sing together, it's a family. And just really to peek behind the scenes and see what Jamaica is really like, behind the kind of the cliches that I had. Empowering these people who are in the film and giving them a voice so there's as little of me in it as possible, apart from my love and enthusiasm for, for the musicians and, and the music, it's, it's their film. An eternal voice, singing an eternal song. Originally opened in 1911 as the Electric Pavilion, the Ritzy has gone through several incarnations to become the five screen picture house we know today. The Ritzy's been here for 109 years. We love being in the middle of Brixton and we have a great relationship with the local community. We also have two bars and a restaurant and we have an upstairs music venue. We program that as diverse as we program our films. We also have a gallery in our upstairs bar which every month changes over with a new artist. Our Culture Shock strand works really well at the Ritzy and we do really well with the big screen for uh, parents and babies. It's popular every week. That's it for August. Remember to keep up to date at our website, picturehouses.com, and become a member for a bunch of extra benefits. Thanks for watching, and see you again in September.